That don't sound good. What the fuck that was? Some of a bitch is here. Move your ass. Put no, no. Bevis can't be happy about what you've been doing to search. the distillery's Call business. Repeat. Abandon search. Return to patrol. You got Call's attention. He's back at the Sweetwater Distillery. Any idea how he'll react when I go in there? He's bug shit crazy swamp people. How do you think he'll react? Still, might be worth keeping him around. No one knows the bayou like he does. Oh, you one for this, Nikki? Damn right you do. Bevis is waiting for you. Real interested to see how you handle him.
What? Hope he don't come over here. What the hell? Whoever's cutting our pay don't work for me. He's out tens of thousands of dollars in liquor. You worried about your paycheck? I ain't the one who... Hmm? Got him! Over here! He can cover! Don't you know you're dead? Stay out of my way! Fuck, is he gone? Let's see if you can find that foot. You fucking coward! Is that a gun? Only so many places to hide, partner! rain. Got lots of places to look. Slip him up, damn it! Got ourselves a... this fuck F 
Fuck me! I'm coming in and the butcher's going out. What about you? Oh, God damn it! All right, all right, I'm in. Irish will be in touch. Emptied out the distillery. It's primed and ready for your boys. Over still standing. My boys are on the way. Snatch that slaughterhouse from him, and that fuck Barbieri will have to react. Thomas Burke came to the States as a boy when his father fled Ireland, likely because of his involvement in the Irish Civil War. Um, after his father died of a heart attack, uh, Burke started running booze to support himself. I mean, he turned bootlegging into an entire industry, and Sal Marcano took notice. Uh, Burke worked his way up the ranks, but could never be made because he wasn't Italian. and them are doing good. What's your problem? Greetings and salutations, and all that shit. You bear? Nikki sent me. Oh, I'm gonna marry that girl someday. Bear Donnelly. I own Nikki's da. Everything. He has me keeping an eye on the Robert O. Meatpacking plant. Who's running things over there? Not job by the name of Sonny Blue. Let's a room out to the butcher's loan sharks. Protection guys, too. If they can't do it there, they put the hurt to people in the street. Any chance Sonny's around the Robodo? Fuck no. Sonny only comes around to scare his people into shape. But I'm here and one of his boys, a fella named Ralph, got caught skimming. They're working the bloody bastard over in the slaughterhouse to find out where he's got it stashed. Might be beneficial to pull his arse out of the fire. I'll see what I can get out of Sonny's goons. Watch your ass, Bear. Sonny Blue's people are scared of him. Might not talk. Why not make him more scared of you? <laughs> Heard you made life hell for Carl at the distillery. Let's see if you can do the same to Sonny Blue.
Let's keep it friendly, buddy. You want him? Shit's going down, uh, boys. Uh, Look who we got here. Uh, Any final words, boy? What do you know about the meatpacking plan? All the shops paying protection up to the boss? I know where they are. That's a big help. Thanks. Hell yeah! Ah! In my sights, motherfucker! Tagged you! Think what you're about to do. Check this shit out. I don't think they're real. Out of this, you owe what you owe. Well, maybe have that pretty little. My viewers come down and see me. What are you doing back here?
shit. But you pay us to say some extra prayers, and think they right. I swear I heard something. It's pretty fucking simple when you... You see a... Just, just don't let nothing happen to me. What? Why don't you turn on around? Big storm this year. They always come. This hold on. I never get tired of the rain. Look out! Uh, okay, okay, just stay out of my way. Well, aren't you a course so and so? <clears throat> Time for negotiating has done and gone, dipshit. You had your chance to make this shit ride and you didn't take it. So what's happening here is on you. <clears throat> Jesus. 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 Let's fuck him up. What are you doing back here? We got a problem. Oh. Problem. This boy is mine. Run! Oh. Oh. I need resupply. I'll head your way now. See anything you need? Show me what you got. here for you. That's a big hip. in my bones. No one's paying off the sunny blue. It's really fucked him up with What's the butcher. Sonny's back over at the Robert O. 
His language has taken an especially colorful turn of late. I take it the Butcher didn't appreciate Sonny's loan shark and protection rackets being disrupted. You got that right. And the Shinola's hit the fan. Sonny's set on getting things back to normal. You know, keeping his people more scared of him than you. We'll see about that. Keep your head down till this is over, hear? Yeah? I hear Sonny's a bit pissed at some mysterious colored fella disrupting his business. Not sure what Burke has planned for me, if we're able to get points we're done back from these WAP fuckers. Going to Chubb's funeral? Too many fucking funerals lately. Fucking beat him. Huh? This morning. What does Sonny Blue do this time? Little Anthony walks in, says good morning. Sonny goes off, beats him with the flat end of a meat hook. Asked Anthony if it was a good morning now. What up? I don't. My neck is standing up. Can't be good. Am I imagining things?
He's over here, you bunch of fuckwits! Not good. Are you out of your mind? Or can't they find Where'd he go? Where haven't we looked? Are you out? God damn, get over here! Fuck, you know what that butch is gonna do to me? Should've never fucked with Iris Point. Slaughterhouse is clear. Send your people. Hey, don't worry about the bodies. My boys will know what to do about them. Everything's in place. The butcher's on his way. Time to put that rabbit dog down. And how did Lincoln Clay convince Thomas Burke, Vito Scaletta, and the woman known as Cassandra to work together? He called a sit-down. He told them to meet him at an old plantation house in the bayou. When he had them all in the same room, he laid out how they were going to take down Marcano. Lincoln could be very persuasive. Yep, heard many a horror story about the things that went on between these walls. Now we get to make some of our own. I need resupply <laughs> and point for done. I'll head your way now. See anything you need? Show me what you got. Use it. It in good health. I'm heading out. What's this all about? Getting ready for some company. Barbieri should be here any minute now. Barbieri's coming here. So he claims. Never known a man to be a liar. <laughs> Just got off the phone with him. I told him if he wanted to settle up, he'd be here waiting. 
For fuck's sake, Bark, you don't ever tell your enemy when and where you're gonna set up ah, the ambush. Ah, Christ, you're much too serious about all this. It takes the fun out of it. Besides, that's the worst that could happen. You could get us all killed. Aye, that I could. It's all right. It's just Mickey. Butcher and his boys are right behind me. You sure? If there's one benefit to being your miserable daughter, it's not know what a posse of Dago assholes out for blood looks like. I'll call him out with a spotlight on the water tower. I'll load it up some barrels with a special petrol mixer cooked up. I'll scatter them across the yard. A bullet will take them out. So don't be close to them when they blow. I'm gonna snipe those guinea fucks from the crane. You, you head up to the roof. One last thing. You try to cut and run, I'll plant you myself. We clear? I'll see you when this is done. You might. You all right back there, lass? What's that? My die asking how I'm doing? Whatever have I done to warrant such fucking concern? A oh, shite girl, a simple yes or no would have been fine. Coming down the left leg. Who fucks about Burke's little pet nigglet? I want the mick alive. Got it? I'm gonna give him an ass fucking. He's never gonna fucking forget. Bring him back fucking alive, that cocksucker. Save a bullet or two. A nigger and a mech working together. Fuck me. I never thought I'd live to see the day. What can I say? Brave new world. Still alive then. 
I see the legs still giving you fits, I'll fuck up. Oh, fuck you. You won't be so cocky once I take the acetylene to you. Fuck you! What do you think happens next, huh? You're gonna die, motherfucker. You're gonna hold next to me. You, your whole organization. You're gonna suck my dick in hell. You all right? Grab his legs. Time to get him into the garage. Fat cunt. We were never able to reconstruct precisely what happened to Barbieri, primarily because his body wasn't found until the mid-1980s. The Army Corps of Engineers was dredging the bottom of the Mississippi River, and his remains were found in the trunk of an old car. Both legs were broken so many times there was barely any bone left. Drop the drink. Well, maybe a drop every now and then. They'll not leave thee, thy lone one, to pine on the stem. Since the lonely are sleeping. Go sleep there with him. You already finished with Barbieri? Barbieri? No. By a long shot. Already told you. Day slow. As for you, you show up like Lazarus himself. Name thinking of myself. This chalky bastard is either one of the luckiest sons of bitches that's ever lived, or the kind of man that invites rotten, damn luck. So goddamn sure it was the latter. I have to admit, I was wrong about you. You can thank me by calling me by my name. Die. Lincoln it is, then. It was funny. Things get taken from us. We convince ourselves we go out and inflict the pain on someone else. A little man what's busted up inside of us. But it doesn't, does No. It does. Spent my entire goddamn life scratching and clawing at anyone who came along. Even if they were there to help. <laughs> Look where it fucking got me. It's the sense. And change it. <sighs> Only way is forward. Now that Irish Point is back under your control, 
I'm gonna need you to bring in as much money as you can. Uh, Going after Marcano ain't gonna be cheap. Uh, I imagine you'll be wanting your cut in the proceeds. That's right. <laughs> Can't say I'm a fan of someone looming over me. But it deals it. I asked Nikki to manage those moonshine runs, but she can't bring them all on her own. That liquor hauls in a fair amount. We'll talk to her. She's around here somewhere if she ain't out quail hunting. Quail ain't in season. Oh, for her kind, it's always in season. <sighs> yeah. Oh, You'll excuse me. Oh, I have to go to see Mr. Barbieri. He's probably getting a little lonely. <laughs> lonely. Visiting my folks in Florida. You want the best moonshine? This is the place to look. Eh, whiskey, whiskey everywhere. And not a drop to drink. Ah, give me a drop every night. Oh!